All right, Coach Woods here, Joel, uh, my son Asher. We want to put together a little um, flag pulling video um, to go over our, our, our five step flag pulling process in Independence Football to make sure we're all doing it uh, the right way. So, three things we're looking for one, we want to be a safe, we want a safe technique. Number one. Number two, we want to be efficacious. We want to be, to be good. We want it to work. Um, and number three, we also want the skills to transfer to tackling. Uh, so we're developing skills uh, that will transfer later on. So step one is tracking. So we're going to have someone at a cone. All right. That's just going to be my ball carrier. I got two cones set up here. We got two uh, further down for a later drill. Uh, tracking, we're going to start close. We have an athlete at one cone. All right, when we're this close, you want to come in under control. I'm tracking the near hip that I'm on. So looking at that flag on that hip, I'm going to come in under control. That's tracking. I'm tracking his hip. All right, if he moves, I'm going to move with him. All right, doing the tracking step. Right now, we're going to keep him stationary. Step two is we're going to get big, almost like basketball on defense. You want to get big, arms out, sit down, feet out. All right, step three comes right after, which is buzz your feet. All right, so we're buzzing our feet. We're super quick feet. I'm not chopping my feet like this. It's a buzz. I'm going to stay low. All right, during the buzz step, if he moves, all right, sideways, I'm going to stay on that hip. I'm always on that hip. I don't want to get in front of him. If he's in front, he can go either way. All right, so if he stays here, if he keeps going slowly, I'm just going to keep with him. All right, if he runs right back into me in a cutback, I'm in a great position. All right, so I'm out of the way of him running over me. I'm on the side. All right, step four is we call cheek to cheek. Now we're going to go in for the flag pull. I'm going to get low. I'm going to bring my cheek to his cheek. We're going to bend our knees with our chest up with a good posture. All right, so buzz your feet, cheek to cheek. I'm going to step with my near foot. All right, so I'm going to step in. My near foot goes to his near hip. Step five, we're going to pull high. So I want big eyes on the flag. All right, I'm cheek to cheek, my knees are bent. I'm gonna grab, if I can, both hands, and I'm gonna pull it up high. If I pull it in the middle or down low, I can miss it. I can do everything right at the last second, miss that flag pull. So I'm here, eyes on the flag, big eyes, I'm gonna pull straight down. All right, pull straight down, they're gonna punch it up in the air to show the referee so he can blow the whistle. What I don't wanna do is pull it sideways, it doesn't always come off, all right? So some drills. Fourth down. Some drills we have. Right he those balls. Are just kind of going. I call it a bird dog drill. Have the kid go step by step, kind of slowly. So I have a kid on one side either cone. So I can do both hips. You'll say track. They'll come in. You'll say get big buzzer feet. Those are at the same time. All right, cheek to cheek. Have them hold it. Pull. Then you can start blending it together. Okay. You can also adjust. Um, if he moves or not. So the next step, you're gonna blow a whistle. The first time you blow the whistle, the running back can only move side to side. All right, so I'm gonna buzz my feet, I'm here. All right, blow the whistle, go side to side, Asher. As he's side to side, they're gonna mirror that hip. What I don't wanna do is that, to get on his other hip where he can cut back. So he's gonna keep mirroring side to side. On the second whistle, all right, he can score through those cones. All right, Asher, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Put it all together. So track, get big buzzer feet, whistle. Whistle. Show it to the ref. All right. So this is our fundamental drill where we want to have a controlled environment before we progress to open field flag pulling. One other element we can add to this is to add a little bit longer runway. So you have two deeper cones. All right, so we're gonna have, when I say track, he's gonna sprint full speed to the first cone. Then as we get closer, we're gonna throttle down. We're gonna get control, all right? Not overrun it. We're gonna start to break down and get ready to buzz our feet, all right? Here we go. Put them all together. All right, so on go, it's a sprint. Then under control, get big buzzer feet, whistle, side to side, whistle, and score. That's it. It's easy game. All right. If you're in good position, you just stay in good position. All right. It's all about buzzing your feet, keeping your eyes up. Again, it's safe. 
Um, what we don't want to do is go across to the other hip. We're going to stay on that same side hip. We don't want to reach across to the other hip. I don't want to pull both hands. All right, I don't want to get in the way. I want to stay out of the way. Eventually, that will turn into the shoulder tackle later on. If I stay on that hip, eventually I can do the Seahawk shoulder tackle and I kind of have that, that skill right there for later on. Ashley, anything else you want to say? Um, I just want to say, um, well, let's go Blue Devils! <laughs> All right, we want to be great. Everybody say, pursuing greatness together. We want to be great at the contact parts, blocking and tackling, flag pulling. We want to be the best flag pulling team in our conference. All say right. pursuing greatness. Pursue greatness on three. One, two, three, pursuing pursue greatness. greatness.